So this is day one of the initial spray down and prep work. So we're going to be cleaning this up and then once we clean it up, then we'll go ahead and start to assess what we need to do in terms of what we need to purchase and replace. Okay, let's go. Before I start to remove anything, I'm going to have to spray this whole thing down and clean it. I'm going to start by using purple power. I'm going to get into those uh, door panels, get the grime out. I'm going to try to save the door panels, but if I can't save them, I will replace them. The dashboard, as we already spoke about, will be replaced. The covering will be recovered. All these are soaked with water. And the water has been there for a long time because this car was uh, closed up. So I'm going to get rid of all the snow insulation. I'm going to rip it out. And we're going to purchase some new insulation and just simply replace it. This whole thing is wet. Tossing that. Passenger side is not as bad, but it's still rotten. And uh, we're gonna get that out, and again, we're gonna replace that with some new installation. Again, due to extreme temperatures inside this car, uh, the headliner is, uh, you know, in pretty bad shape it's buckled and we'll be fixing that soon I'm gonna clean out this glove box recover this dashboard that is really bad and uh, CE panel let's make sure that uh, the CE panel is in good shape I'm gonna replace all the fuses here and taking off the door handle I need to take this out this out this out this out and over here this is the door handle pop this out and you just screw right in there so I was able to get this off and uh, turn it over take a look at it it was pretty beat up um, again this was never fixed it was just uh, left sitting so I'm gonna have to use some uh, fiberglass to reinforce these um, brakes. We don't have to replace these, just repair them. All these holes need to be repaired also. And be reinforced. Speaker, we're gonna replace the speaker with these holes. After removing the screw from here, pull that out and then screw this off. Gotta get all these panels off to check out what's going on behind it. I'm sure all the wires must be in a mess. And of course, see, yep, some of the speaker wires are still intact. Uh, they need to be replaced though. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this uh, back end. So, take it, use it as a template, and uh, create a new plastic um, shielding. The speaker will be replaced. It looks like it's in good condition. Yeah, the wires are pretty bad though. The locks look okay. Let's clean this up a bit. So the dash needs a lot of work, however, if we find good pieces like this, we will keep it intact. I'll 
I'll just go ahead and uh, clean this up, reuse it. It's probably hard to find. The wires in this dash was a little bit of a mess. I found cut wires. So these are some speaker wires as, long, as well as the uh, antenna wire. We'll keep those intact. That's an analog or digital clock. I'm gonna get rid of that, no use for that. I plan to open up this AC control unit, go inside and make sure that it's working, all the contacts are clean and working. So we'll get to that. This is the driver's side door and uh, looks like the wires for the window for the side view mirror is working and intact. However, the ground looks a little suspect. I'm gonna have to either replace that or tape it up. Right there looks a little um, shaved. So anyway, this is the orientation for the switch. And as you can see, this driver's side door gets used um, a lot. So the panel is a little bit worse than the other side. These holes are totally broken, ripped out. I'm gonna have to fix those. Speaker also is in decent condition, but we are going to re, uh, we're going to replace these with some new ones. Again, taking a look at the uh, the lights for the door, they look like they're in pretty bad shape. There are some broken wires there. Going to have to find out where those go and replace them. like this goes here you can see that the contact has been broken off so we're gonna replace this light this is the gear shifter the cover is uh, broken into a couple of pieces so we're gonna try to replace that or I don't know if we could try to fix it but we'll see this is the reset light. Looks like it's intact. I'm going to take care of that, make sure it doesn't uh, get damaged. These switches are all um, beat up and they're missing parts, so I'm going to replace all of these switches. Uh, these are the switches for the window, uh, passenger and driver window, as well as the sunroof. to get out. You have to get these out at an angle. Marked. I'm 
these three wires are on the passenger side and the driver side window is on the driver side. One. Four. Three. And two. This part of the cabin air system, it is broken, the hose is broken and fell off. So this goes right up here and it attaches to that nipple right there. So that, we have to replace the hose and uh, get it reattached to that section right there. Okay, so far, so good. We've taken apart most of the car and we've assessed what needs to be plate replaced, what needs to be purchased. And we're gonna to try to do some of these replacements on eBay. I'm sure I could find some replacement parts. The door panels look like they may have to be replaced on both sides. Uh, we are going to do the floor first and uh, get started. So I am looking forward to doing this. Let's go. See you in the next video.